folks. Recently, I was asked to write a piece for Catholic Answers about how liturgical calendars might work on other planets should we start colonizing them. I've actually been asked about this periodically, and I enjoy uh, fielding questions on Catholic Answers Live about humanity's ventures into outer space, such as this question. How would the church adapt its liturgical calendar if we colonized another planet or the moon? And, of course, we all know that the moon is a planet because it's round and it doesn't glow. In fact, it's our sister planet. Well, the answer is it's going to depend on where the planet or moon is and how fast it rotates. Humans are biologically designed to have a wake-sleep cycle that is synced with the 24-hour day-night cycle here on Earth. If we're in an environment where the day-night cycle is radically different from what we're programmed to work with, you know, either much shorter than 24 hours or much longer than 24 hours, then we just ignore it. For example, the International Space Station goes around the Earth in about 45 minutes, meaning that the astronauts on board get 22 minutes of light and 22 minutes of dark. There's no way they would want to try to fall asleep every 22 minutes and then wake up 22 minutes later for the duration of their mission. Thus, astronauts on space stations ignore their environment's particular day-night cycle. Instead, they keep a regular Earth-based 24-hour day-night cycle for their sleeping and waking periods. The same would be true of any other planet or moon that has a radically different rotation rate, either much shorter or much longer. And if humans are keeping a normal terrestrial day-night cycle and ignoring the rotation of the object they're on, they wouldn't likely, they would likely just keep a terrestrial calendar. They wouldn't have to modify the calendar because they're keeping the same earthly day-night cycle. But what about other planets like Mars, which has a rotation period close to that of Earth? It's almost the same length as Earth's. In fact, it's 24 hours and 37 minutes long. So it's a little different, but humans there would probably adapt to the Martian day-night cycle. And that means that their days and nights would get out of sync with the days and nights of Earth because of the different rotation rates adding up. However, I don't think that on Mars there would be a need to fundamentally change the liturgical calendar because Mars is very close to Earth. It's only a few light minutes away. And as a result, it would be very easy to stay in contact with Earth and continue to use the fundamental terrestrial liturgical calendar. Even if their Sunday slides a few hours from Sunday on Earth because of the different day lengths, you could still approximate that. So they would still have the same kind of Sunday cycle. Um, They could still celebrate Easter and Christmas at the same times. In fact, I think they would. Uh, They also could have some Martian modifications, like special feast days for things like the founding of the first church on Mars or for saints who lived on Mars. But the structure of the liturgical calendar wouldn't have to be fundamentally different. But what happens if you go further afield, like out of our solar system? In that case, there's no easy way to communicate with Earth because of the light speed limit, as long as we don't have a way around the light speed limit. If you were on a planet with a similar rotation period to that of Earth, I could see the local church in this other solar system developing its own liturgical calendar based on the local planetary rotation period. However, even then, Even if they came up with new holidays and new liturgical seasons, they very likely would still keep Christmas and Easter at the same time that they're being celebrated back on Earth, because that's something you could always calculate. So I think that there could, particularly in another solar system, be a different liturgical calendar with some similarities to ours. But here in our solar system, we're so close that I don't think we would practically develop fundamentally different liturgical calendars for other planets at least not any time in the foreseeable future. By the way, if you like this content, be sure to comment on it and hit the like button and share it with others. That way, YouTube knows you found it engaging, and it'll show it to more people. You can help the channel grow that way, and I am trying to grow my channel, so please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell notification so that you always get notified when I have a new video. Uh, These days, I usually have several a week. I appreciate all your help. Thank you so much, and God bless you.